Rays hosting the Mets, and the Mets are plus 102 on the money line. The Rays are minus 120. The over-under, eight runs. The Mets laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 172, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Rays getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 210, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And I hate when they do this, and I say this in all these videos, where they make one team a favorite on the money line and the other team a favorite on the run line. Chances are they'll adjust it overnight or someone effed up, but usually they just kind of set it this way and then adjust based off of the bets that come in. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year, and the Rays won today 10-8. to Head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3. and three. The Rays are 7-3. and three. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. The over is 6-4, and four, and the over 8 is 5-4-1. and one. For the Mets... They're two and three as a team in Severino's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 1.2, averaging six innings pitched, and they've lost his last two starts. Six innings, three hits, 1.6 runs, 1.2 of which were earned, five strikeouts per game, 2.2 walks, and then 95.4 pitches. For the Rays, they are one and four in Little's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2.4, averaging five and a third innings pitched, 7.2 hits, 2.6 runs, 2.4 of which were earned, 5.8 strikeouts, 0.6 walks. He's walked three guys in one game, and that was it. And then 0.6 home runs, 91.6 pitches, and they've lost his last three starts as a team. The Mets are 4-6 and six in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4. 6 runs, 1 run, 13 runs, 18 runs. 4 runs in a win, shut out in a loss. 7 runs in a win, 8 runs in a loss. For the Rays, they're 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4. 1 run, 10 runs, 8 runs, 18 runs. 1 run in a win, 2 runs in a loss, 1 run in a loss, and then 10 runs in a win today. They got to Quintana early. He only went 2-2 two two thirds. I don't think the same will happen with Severino, and I trust him a tad bit more than I do little and Severino has a lot of experience with the Yankees pitching against the Rays so we'll uh we'll see how this turns out for him uh I'm gonna take the the Mets with the money line I'm going to take the Mets getting the runs and I will go I'm gonna go over I think the bullpen will blow this for one of these teams these are just my picks if you disagree please go with your gut and please bet responsibly